good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on where you are in the world. I hope that you're well. I hope that you've had a good weekend. And if this is a holiday for you, I hope that you have had a pleasant day or that you're having a pleasant day and the day continues to be pleasant. It's great to be here today. We are broadcasting on uh, YouTube, on our Coffee Break Languages channel. We're also broadcasting All Being Well on our Facebook pages for French, German, Spanish and Italian and our Coffee Break Languages Facebook page. So hopefully you can hear me, hopefully you can see me and I do believe we've got some people joining us. So it's great to know that we've got some people live watching. We've got Rafael uh, joining us in New York. Rafael, you're very welcome. Uh, Anna's joining us in Poland. Elizabeth's in North, North Yorkshire. Um, we've got Madeline joining us in Denmark. Wendy's in Australia. Uh, Sean's joining us in Nottingham. Fantastic. Jessica in Colombia. Wow. Uh, Richa in New Delhi. We've got Ricardo joining us in Sao Paulo. Uh, we've got Moira in the Dordogne. We've got Andre joining us in Bedford. And lots more of you joining with to with us today. We've got James saying, feel like I'm part of the community with teachers and learners. You are indeed. Um, and uh, Max saying, super excited. So the Portland, Oregon, fantastic. Great to have you all here. Really nice to see you today. And as I say, I hope you've had uh, a pleasant weekend and uh, a good chance to relax. Perhaps it's been a holiday weekend for you. Uh, hopefully you've had some time to relax and do a little bit of language learning. We're going to be doing some language learning today. Um, it's a little bit tricky because obviously we are broadcasting on multiple pages, so we can't just focus on one language. Over the last week, we've been focusing on one language a number of times. Uh, but today we're basically here to answer your questions about the Coffee Break Club. The Coffee Break Club is a fairly new product here at Coffee Break Languages. We launched this in December. And uh, since then, many learners of, of, from all over the world have been using the Coffee Break Club as a video library to learn when, where and when it suits you. And uh, we, over the past week, have been promoting uh, a special promotion because there is 30% off uh, the Coffee Break Club until 6pm UK time tonight. So that is in just one hour and 25 minutes. And we're going to be doing a fairly long live broadcast. I'm going to be around for the next hour and, t hour and 25 minutes or so. Um, until six o'clock because I've got some things to share with you, some uh, demonstrations of some of our content here on the club. And also I'm delighted to ask any, to answer any questions. We've had some questions by email, so we've prepared some of these, but obviously if you are, uh, do have any questions, then please post them in the comments. What I would say, because obviously there are lots of comments coming through, if you have a question, put the word question in the comments and then I'll be able to see it more easily uh, as I'm scrolling through, scrolling through the, the comments ready to answer your questions. So let's just check through what we are planning today. We are going to be talking a little bit about what the club is. I'll be sharing some sample lessons with you. And then, of course, we'll go into our Q&A. And all being well, I'll be able to demo the web platform. And hopefully, if I can get the cables connected here, um, I'll be able to demo our app as well. And that way, you'll see what is involved in the club and how you can benefit from the Coffee Break Club. The Coffee Break Club where did it come from? It, it came from the idea that we wanted to provide the perfect way for you to keep up with your language learning. Our courses on the Coffee Break Academy continue. We will continue to add to these courses. And these are courses which follow a progressive uh, plan. So you're starting at the absolute beginning of a language and building up to knowing, uh, to being able to use that language in a variety of situations. With the club, it's a little different because one of the, the comments that we always get from learners is that once you get to a certain point, you can't keep going forward, forward, forward all the time. You have to kind of take things wider. You have to basically maintain the language that you're learning and practice it. And really, that's where the club comes in because we wanted to create this resource for you that would allow you to practice the language that you're learning and do so on a regular basis, just really a coffee break every day. So five, 10, 15 minutes every day. 
and that use these the, the, the lessons that we provide to keep up with your language, to maintain that language and to, to develop it a little bit more as you work through our activities. And as we were looking around, obviously, we, we thought, yeah, we could post content on YouTube. That would be great. People will be able to access it there and so on. However, one of the problems with YouTube is that there's so much distraction. If you're watching this on YouTube, probably you can see down the right hand side a whole load of other videos that are tempting you away from this one. And in a sense, we wanted to have a destination, a destination, in a sense, similar to Netflix, Hulu, Prime Video and so on. Places where you go to access content that you want to watch, be that films or TV shows. But obviously we wanted to create something that was the perfect place for learning to happen. So the, the kind of destination that you could go to without any distractions, get access to high quality content, but be able to access that also on your own device, download it for when you're traveling or if you've not got uh, internet connection and so on. So we looked at other apps that were out there, particularly the fitness apps, uh, things like Apple Fitness Plus or Peloton, where there are video lessons, video sessions, where you can, for example, do a, a 10 minute meditation or a 20 minute running activity or a, a half hour cycle or something like that. And we wanted to recreate that kind of experience within a language learning scenario because ultimately learning a language isn't that far from keeping fit because when you're keeping fit you need to do a little every day and you need to come back to it and you need to keep practicing and that's exactly what learning a language is all about too you need to keep at it you need to return to it you need to keep doing a little bit and let's be honest a little bit every day is much better than uh, an hour or so at the weekend when you've got time if you can manage to fit in five minutes or ten minutes every day then that is the perfect way to continue your uh, your your development of the the language now if you have any questions at any point about the club or indeed about other aspects that we're talking about today we are focusing on the coffee break club today so if you've got any questions about the club please do post them in the uh, in the, the comments and that way I will be able to see your comments, we'll be able to put them on the screen and we'll be able to answer the comments as we go along. So what is the club? The club is an on-demand library of video lessons with hundreds of video lessons, uh, all presented by expert teachers, varied activities and you can use it on our web platform on coffeebreaktv.com and on our Coffee Break TV app which is available for Android iOS, uh, Apple TV and Roku as well. And hopefully, again, <laughs> if the things go according to plan, I'll be able to show you all of that a little later. Now, let me see where we are. Yes, so what I want to do is explain a little about the types of videos that we have on the club. Because in the club, there's a huge range of different types of videos. We have our SIP videos, and we like to learn a language SIP by SIP here at Coffee Break. And SIP stands for Study, Investigation and Practice. So study is where we look at a particular point. It's mostly about grammar. You can see the titles here in some of these example videos. So particularly grammatical videos where you're studying a point. And then you're investigating it further with uh, some examples, with some uh, further expressions, and then practicing it with some translations or an exercise. And in our SIP videos, there is the, the, a range of, of uh, content there which will help you do just that. So that's one type of videos. I'm going to be showing you some examples of these videos as, as we go on. Secondly, we have our postcards where you're identifying the mystery location. As you deviné où je suis? Have you guessed where I am? Wo bin ich heute? Where am I today? Donde me encuentro hoy? Dove mi trovo oggi? So examples in French, German, Spanish and Italian there of our postcards where you're reading a postcard and from the clues in the postcard you're trying to identify the mystery location. So this type of video is a fun video, a little bit of learning disguised as a, a game, if you like, where you're trying to work out something based on the information that you're, you're reading in the, the foreign language and accompanied, of course, by our teachers in the club. So those are our postcards. We also have five minute learning videos. So these can take the form of a challenge, a translation or comprehension challenge or some reading content where you're doing a reading text along with one of our tutors. 
And we also have vocabulary builder videos which help you build your vocabulary with the, the help of uh, some puzzles and games and so on to help you build your vocabulary in Spanish, French, German and Italian. And we also have our Discover the World videos. These are our discovery videos. And again, you see some examples here, which we used last week in our, uh, in, in our special events for the club. And we'll again be looking at some examples of these a little later on. And the one other category of, of videos, uh, which is featured in, in all of the, 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 the languages at the moment, is a coffee break with. So we do regular coffee breaks with, you can see Mark and Max, Mark and Oliveira, Mark and Annabel, Mark and Francesca. There will also be some questions, uh, there will also be some, some uh, coffee breaks with that don't include me. Uh, they are coming up in, in the next few weeks. So these are our five different types of videos. And uh, at the moment, these are the, the ones that we're focusing on. We're also adding in new videos all the time. Um, and uh, these will uh, be added to as we continue to develop the club. We've got lots of exciting ideas for, for future videos. And indeed, we will be taking your thoughts on board. We have done a survey recently with all our existing club members. And I'll be sharing some of the, the, the points that our club members uh, shared with us a little later on in our video. Now, crucially, we're currently in the middle of a promotion. And this promo actually finishes in just one hour and 15 minutes time. So we are offering 30% off your first payment of the club. And you can pay monthly. It's $19.99 per month, so $19.99. The club is sold in dollars because it's a US-based platform that we use for the club. And we have to sell it in just one currency, and that has to be dollars. So we're selling it in dollars, but you can buy it anywhere in the world. Just double check from your, your card provider about any potential, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, commission that is charged on a foreign transaction. But most uh, banks will, will allow you to purchase something abroad without necessarily having any kind of additional fees to pay. So $19.99 per month or uh, quarterly it's $44.99. And uh, there is also an annual option, a yearly cost, which is $199.99. But there's 30% off each of those. So 30% off your first payment, so your first month, or your first quarter, or indeed your first year. So that means that at the moment, if you buy the yearly option, rather than pay about $200, you're paying $140 for your first year's access. And that's roughly about £112 in the UK at the moment. Um, for the quarterly option, $44.99, that comes down to $31.50-ish, I think, off the top of my head. But you're saving 30% in your first quarter. If you continue uh, over the course of the year, then you'll pay $166 over that course of the first year. And if you go for monthly, then the total cost over the first year would be $234. So you're saving almost $100 if you decide to go for the yearly access at the moment. Now, at this point, I am just going to uh, access, um, right, no, I'm just kind of keeping track on the, the questions because we're going to be dealing with the questions in, in time over the course of the, uh, the, the, the presentation here that we've got for you. But what I would like to do just now is just have a look to see if we have actually any uh, new members. Um, let me see if I can press the right button here, because as we go through, oh, I've lost my cursor. Where's my cursor gone? <laughs> as we go through today's presentation, we are going to be welcoming in person our new members. So let's see if we've got any new members uh, who have signed up in the past few, uh, well, since we started the broadcast. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> we do indeed. So welcome to new club member Laura S. Laura S, you're very welcome. Thank you for joining the club. Um, as I say, we'll, we'll be welcoming you uh, in, in person today if you're, you're joining during the, the session. We've also got Ashley E. Thank you, Ashley E. Um, let's see who else we've got. This is it's going quite slowly. We'll, we'll see if we can try to speed that up a little bit. Um, we've got Peter B. Uh, also joined the, the, the club in the past 15 minutes or so. And we also have uh, Margaret S. Thank you very much for joining the club. It's great to have you here. We are delighted to welcome you to our uh, Coffee Break Club. Now, again, thank you for the questions. Oh, Danny R. Well done. Thank you, Danny R, too. 
Um, we are going to be answering all your questions uh, a little bit later uh, in this session, but thank you very much indeed for, for posting them, and it's really useful. I see that many of you are using the word question to help me. Um, that's great. So we've got Pat J, uh, who is also uh, joining us, and Rachel S, thank you so much. I'm just going to take that away just now because it's a little bit distracting there when we are working through our slides. Right, let me check where we're supposed to be now, uh, and we are going into our first demo. Okay, so this is the first demo of um, our five-minute content. So these are the five-minute learning, and I'm going to play a little segment from four different videos, one in French, one in German, one in Italian, one in Spanish, and you'll see some of the styles of videos. This gives you the chance to have a look at that. It gives me the chance to uh, to check through the questions and make sure we've got all the questions ready for later. Um, so hopefully we'll this will all make sense. This is an example, uh, some samples of our five minute videos. Uh, so I'll hand you over to my club colleagues. D'après un sondage de 2021, les Français passeraient 22% de leur temps à regarder la télé. So here we have d'après, which means according to, and um, sondage, which is a survey. So d'après un sondage de 2021 is according to a survey from 2021. And in the next part of the sentence, we have quite a particular way of using the conditional. Um, that's something that's quite often used in news reports uh, to say, uh, to mean allegedly or supposedly, uh, because we don't know for sure that that's what people do, uh, as it is a survey. Uh, so, les Français passeraient 22% de leur temps à regarder la télé means French people allegedly spend 22% uh, percent of their time uh, watching TV. Okay, let's start off with our first sentence. You'll hear me say it once, then a second time, and after that, you'll get the 10 seconds to complete your sentence. Also, unser erster Satz ist, Ich möchte eigentlich spazieren gehen, Komma, aber es regnet schon den ganzen Tag. I'll say that again for you. Ich möchte eigentlich spazieren gehen. Komma. Aber es regnet schon den ganzen Tag. Okay, if you want to complete the sentence, you'll get 10 seconds just now. Los geht's! Und die Zeit ist rum. Okay, let's take a look at the sentence. Ich möchte eigentlich spazieren gehen, aber es regnet schon den ganzen Tag. Now, when we translate this to English, it means I would actually like to go for a walk, but it's been raining all day. Sono molto emozionato perché oggi, finalmente, voterò per la prima volta. Nella mia città ci sono le elezioni amministrative. Questo significa che le persone devono decidere chi sarà il prossimo sindaco. The first sentence that we have to translate into Spanish is Concha dances bachata in the afternoon to relax. 10 seconds. Tiempo. Concha dances bachata in the afternoon to relax. So the answer is Concha baila bachata por las tardes para relajarse. Concha dances, concha baila, and then bachata is bachata as well. But here we have in the afternoon. So here is por las tardes. When talking about in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, we are going to say por la mañana, por la tarde, or even at night, por la noche. So we are using the preposition por when talking about that period of time. Okay, so there you have some examples of our five minute videos. Obviously, you're not getting the full experience there. I didn't want to play a full five minute video in each language because I'm aware that today we've got uh, viewers 
interested in multiple languages. Um, but you get the idea that each of the five minutes is working against the clock. So you're kind of, there's a, a timer on the screen, you're literally doing a five minute lesson and you can see the, the, the timer going down and you get some kind of translation challenge or a reading text, or as you can also see, we've now added, uh, or we're starting to add dictation too. So dictation is a fantastic tool for practicing your, your understanding of how the language works and how the language is written. So. That's some examples of our five minute videos. Um, again, we will, I'm keeping monitoring all these questions and we're going to look at now one other type of video and then we'll come to the questions. So this now is our uh, postcard videos and uh, the postcards are uh, where you're trying to identify uh, the mystery location from the sentences on the postcard. Uh, so the, the, the postcard is describing the location, giving you clues of the location and then we reveal the location at the end. So let's take a look at some of our postcard examples. Salve e bentornati ad un altro episodio di Dove mi trovo oggi. Io sono Francesca, I'm Francesca e guess what? Indovinate? Ho appena ricevuto una cartolina da Maurizio. I've just received a postcard from Maurizio. We are now going to read this postcard together and we will try to guess where Maurizio is writing from. Allora, io sono pronta, quindi dai, cominciamo! Ciao Francesca! Era da anni che i miei cugini ed io volevamo visitare la capitale della Baviera e finalmente ce l'abbiamo fatta. C'è un treno diretto che da Verona arriva proprio qui attraversando l'Austria. Appena arrivati, ci siamo diretti subito a Marienplatz, la piazza centrale, da cui si può ammirare la particolare facciata del municipio e il famoso orologio a cucù. Ora siamo in un locale tipico per provare le tradizionali salsicce con un contorno di crauti. E domani ci aspetta l'Oktoberfest. Non vedo l'ora! Allora, dove mi trovo oggi? A presto, Maurizio. Let's have a look at the individual sentences and then I'm sure you will also find out where Olivera is spending her day. Also, ich besuche gerade eine Schulfreundin in Süddeutschland und gestern haben wir die Top-Sehenswürdigkeiten hier besucht. So, I am currently or at the moment I am visiting a school friend in southern Germany or in the south of Germany und gestern and yesterday and then she's using the perfect tense here so haben wir and if you look at the end of the sentence besucht the past persist participle so we have visited the top sites here. Let's start from the beginning. Estoy disfrutando muchísimo. Está siendo un viaje muy completo. So Estoy disfrutando muchísimo. I'm enjoying or I'm having lots of fun. Estoy disfrutando muchísimo. This is the verb disfrutar. And then muchísimo is like really a lot. So mucho is a lot. But then we have added ísimo here. So you just like to emphasize that it's really like a lot. I am enjoying a lot. Está haciendo un viaje muy completo. Está haciendo, this is the verb ser, in the gerund. So, star plus gerund. Está haciendo, it's been, un viaje muy completo, a very complete trip. Je séjourne dans un appartement près de la Garonne, le fleuve qui traverse la ville. That's an interesting sentence. Je séjourne means I stay when we are talking about accommodation. Je séjourne from the verb séjourner, ER verb. Dans un appartement, in a flat, près de la Garonne. Près de means near. We need the word de following près. It could have been du if Garonne was masculine, but Garonne is la Garonne. So près de la Garonne. Le fleuve qui traverse la ville. Le fleuve is the river. The river that flows through the city. Qui traverse la ville. That goes across 
the city, literally. And we have qui and not que because here le fleuve is the subject of the sentence. La ville means city, it also means town, but here we're talking about a city. So what do we have so far? Suzy is in a city in the southwest of France. And there's a river flowing through that city called La Garonne. So there you have some examples from our postcards. Now, obviously, again, you're not seeing the full thing. You're not seeing the, the complete reveal of the postcard. You're working out clues from that postcard. And, and as the, the postcard continues, you might have noticed that the clues get a little more obvious. So we start with some more uh, specific information to begin with, and then things get more obvious as the, the postcard reaches its end. It's great fun, and as uh, Nicole said there, as, as Nicole's watching, adoro le cartoline, uh, I love the postcards uh, in, in Italian. Fantastic. So, as I said, we've got some questions here, and I'm going to be answering your questions. Let me just uh, come through here so that I can uh, bring up your questions on the screen. So, first of all, uh, muy buenos días. Puede decirme si el club es una buena opción para estudiantes de nivel intermedio avanzado. So, is the club a good option for students of intermediate uh, to advanced level? So, the club is mainly focusing at this stage on an A to B1 level. So, intermediate, upper beginner, lower intermediate. We do have some content in there for a B2 level. But for now, it's mainly focusing on that intermediate level, helping you really develop that intermediate level. If you're already an advanced level, obviously, much of the content would be useful for you to review but it's perhaps not going to be at the level that you need it at right now. As time goes on, our plan is to add more content to the club that will bring uh, that will be useful for more advanced students. Um, but for now, it is mainly around an A to B1 and pushing into B2 level. So I hope that answers your question. Um, a similar question here from Jacqueline. What's the highest level in the club and how many exercises are there at that highest level? So at the moment, we, uh, as I say, we're, we're focusing on A2, B1, B2. There are more, uh, con there's more content at an A2, B1 level than there is at a B2 level, but we're planning to add more content in there. Christian is asking um, a question about the quarterly subscription here. Let me just extend that out. Okay, so the quarterly subscription is forty four ninety nine uh, uh, for three months, and from tomorrow it's fifty four ninety nine um, for three months. Sorry, I'm just bringing that back up. Um, if I subscribe to it today, will I keep the price forever, or will it be fifty four ninety nine after three months? Okay, so just to explain, at the moment uh, the the quarterly subscription is forty four ninety nine. In fact, I can bring this back on the screen. The quarterly subscription is forty four ninety nine. However, after our sale, that's going up to fifty four ninety nine. So, if you were to to subscribe today for the forty four ninety nine, then you would get thirty percent off that forty four ninety nine. And in three months' time, your second payment would be the full payment of forty four ninety nine because that is the price that you come in at. If you subscribe tomorrow, first of all, you wouldn't get any discount and it would be fifty four ninety nine from tomorrow onwards for the, the quarterly subscription. So I hope, Christian, that answers your question. Um, Mark is asking, would a B2 benefit from this? Which audience is the core same that? So we've, we've kind of spoken about that already. Um, so hopefully I've, I've answered your question, Mark, too. Um, SQL Server 101, or Philip, is asking, is there a progression, a learning path, as opposed to us finding and clicking videos in the club? So this is something we've been asked a few times, and it's not something that we have currently as part of the club, because the nature of the club is it, all of the content can be kind of taken in any order, because it's that whole idea of what do you want to learn today? Um, you know, if you're going on a fitness app, you're going to, yes, of course, there are some uh, fitness apps which will, will take you from the couch to 5K, or, or something like that, where you're uh, going, uh, developing in a kind of progressive way. With the club at the moment, it's quite random in the sense that there's content that's available all the time that will help you move forward in little steps every time you do a new video. But there's not necessarily collections which are uh, programmed to help you work your way through certain things. 
that may well be added to it in the future. We may well uh, de define some of these collections for uh, a special section on mastering your verbs or looking at different pronouns and that kind of idea. Uh, but that's something uh, that we are, are looking at. Um, so, Shell is asking, is there enough audio content on the videos for a blind person to learn a language, i.e. the postcards don't sound doable? In actual fact, the postcards would be very doable because the, everything is read out, everything is explained, and all of the learning comes through the audio. So with the postcards, the, the only content on the screen are the words of the postcard itself. And obviously when we do reveal the location, it's a, a photo, a, a postcard of the location itself. But in a sense, that's not really necessary. Um, with the postcards, a lot of the content is around the audio. And likewise, with everything in our videos, we do tend to use the video as simply a, an additional uh, tool, if you like, so that you can see the words on screen uh, that, that you're, you're listening to. So there's, there's never something on the screen that you're not listening to, if that makes sense because the content has been created in such a way that the audio content can almost work on its own without the video content uh, there. So, Shell, I hope that answers your question. Uh, Carolyn is asking, is anything not included in the, club, in the club or is there access to everything? So, the club is very specifically the club videos. So, this is not accessing season one and season two and, and our courses on the Coffee Break Academy. Those are separate courses and they will remain separate courses and you'll be able to access them on the Academy. You'll also be able to access them within Coffee Break TV, the platform, but the club is a separate piece of content on the platform and the club are these videos, these video lessons, samples of which you're seeing so far. So, I hope that answers your question, Carolyn. Um, and Saul is saying, I joined and it didn't give the option to get the discount. So when you join, there is a little uh, field to fill in for uh, the, the coupon code. And you do need to put spring 30 in that coupon code. Uh, in fact, I've not actually brought that on the screen yet. Let me just bring this in. So save 30% on your, your, your first payment with the code spring30 at coffeebreaktv.com. So if you use the coupon code SPRING30, then you'll get the 30% discount. If you don't use it, just get in touch and we'll be able to uh, refund you that, uh, that discount as long as it's before uh, 6 o'clock today, which is in 55 minutes' time. Um, so do get in touch, Saul, uh, and we'll be able to help you uh, sort that out. Uh, let me just double check... Um, Richard saying uh, the postcards are a fun idea. I've not seen them before. Good, good. Uh, so, uh, Dejan, Dechan, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Uh, one question, I subscribed yesterday and didn't write the promo code, so it was charged forty four ninety nine. Is it possible to get this 30% discount? Yeah, just get in touch with us at team at coffeebreaklanguages.com and then that way we'll be able to uh, follow up with that and solve that for you. Okay, let's continue on and look at a few more examples of the content. We're going to take a look now at the discovery videos. These are, I love these because they're where you discover something interesting about the world, an interesting fact, an interesting feature about something from somewhere around the world, but you do so through the medium of the language that you're learning. So these are videos where, again, you're listening to the content. When we go through um, the, the text, you'll hear the, the whole text of each of these discovery videos. But what you're not hearing in this sample is the 10 minutes or 12 minutes or 15 minutes or so on after these where every line of the text is explained. So don't worry if you're listening to these and you think, oh, these sound, these sound quite... Um, uh, quite difficult because everything is explained but I'm not showing you the explanation part in this in this demo because as I say we're trying to uh, provide content here today for uh, learners of different languages and therefore uh, we're just giving you a little sample. So here are some of our discovery videos for French, German, Spanish and Italian. Dinosaurios bailarines this is the title of the text for today. Dinosaurio is dinosaur and bailarines means dancer, or in its plural form, dancers. So this text is called Dinosaur Dancers, or better said, Dancing Dinosaurs. So let's find out what this is about, because I'm quite curious. Cerca de Sucre, Bolivia, 
hay una pista de baile enorme. Sin embargo, no es una pista de baile para humanos. La pista de baile de dinosaurios recibió su apodo debido a la cantidad de huellas de dinosaurios que se encontraron en el área. Si bien ningún dinosaurio realmente bailó allí, es una de las mayores concentraciones de huellas de dinosaurios jamás encontradas. El área tiene huellas de seis especies distintas. La pista más larga tiene casi 350 metros de largo y es un conjunto de huellas que dejó un bebé de Rex que los lugareños han apodado Johnny Walker. Ah, that makes more sense, although I did like the idea of dancing dinosaurs. Il testo di oggi si intitola Memorizzali tutti. Memorize them all. Let's look at the text now. Nel 2019, alcuni scienziati hanno condotto uno studio sul modo in cui il cervello riconosce le immagini familiari. Volevano vedere come il cervello degli adulti risponde alla visione di immagini che questi ultimi avevano memorizzato durante l'infanzia. Tuttavia, usare gli esseri umani come cavie è contrario all'etica, quindi non hanno potuto fornire immagini da memorizzare ad un gruppo di bambini e aspettare che crescessero. Allora, uno dei ricercatori si è reso conto che c'era già qualcosa che molti bambini avevano memorizzato, i Pokémon. A 11 adulti che avevano giocato con i Pokémon da bambini sono state mostrate le immagini dei mostriciattoli, così come a 11 adulti che non ci avevano mai giocato. Nel cervello di quelli che avevano giocato con i Pokémon è stata osservata una regione specifica del cervello che ha riconosciuto le creature. Gli scienziati l'hanno soprannominata Regione dei Pokémon. Ecco il nostro testo. It's now time to look back at each sentence and analyze the grammar points contained. Today's text is called Un lac sidéral, and it's about a lake, un lac, but it's not just like any other lakes. So let's find out more about it as we read the text together. Du Loch Ness au Grand Lac, il y a des lacs célèbres partout dans le monde. Mais au Québec, au Canada, il y en a un qui est particulièrement unique. Le lac Manicouagan est un grand lac circulaire avec une immense île ronde au milieu. Résultat, le lac ressemble à un gros donut. La raison pour laquelle le lac est si circulaire est que c'est en fait le cratère créé par l'impact d'un astéroïde. Les lacs comme celui-ci sont connus sous le nom de lac annulaire. Oh, it's good now after reading this text. Only once I have learned and we have learned a few interesting facts, things I didn't know at all and um, didn't know that this lake existed. So we're going to now um, go through the text one sentence at a time and look at the vocabulary and, and, and the interesting structures. Also, unser heutiger Text heißt Liebe auf den ersten Ton. Na, da bin ich aber mal gespannt. Let's find out what the text is about. Mickey und Minnie Mouse sind zwei der berühmtesten Figuren der Welt. Sie waren eines der ersten Paare auf der großen Leinwand. Aber wusstest du, dass Mickeys Synchronsprecher und Minnies Synchronsprecherin im echten Leben geheiratet haben? Das Paar hat sich während der Synchronarbeiten für ihre Charaktere kennengelernt. Genau wie Mickey und Minnie 
haben sie sich verliebt und geheiratet. Manchmal imitiert das Leben wirklich die Kunst. What a lovely text. Das gefällt mir. So again, I should stress that these texts may seem quite challenging and they definitely are challenging. These are probably more B2 level. However, what we do do with the texts is that after you've heard the full version of that of, of the text for each of the videos, which, which you saw there, we then go through all of the language and discuss the, the verbs used, the vocabulary used, the way in which the, the grammar is structured and, and so on. So all of that is part of the discovery videos and you can use that to learn something interesting about the world and, of course, do some practice with your language at the same time. Okay, let's have a look to see if we have any new uh, members of the club. Um, if we bring this back on the screen, uh, here we are. So let's see what we do. So, <laughs> uh, Pat J, you are very welcome. Thank you very much indeed for joining the club. Um, we also have uh, Rachel S. Brilliant. Thank you, Rachel. Um, it's great to know that some of you are are joining the club as we're as we're doing this session. Joe M is also joining. Thank you, Joe. Um, I am just going to bring uh, this on the screen. James C. Thank you very much indeed. Um, I think I've pressed the wrong button here. Um, but we've got uh, Stephen H. joining us too. Thank you very much. Um, we've got Ruth W, all new members of the club uh, since we started today, so this is fantastic news. And Marsha M is also joining us. You're all very welcome indeed. Donc, bienvenue, willkommen, benvenuti, bienvenidos, and also to Barry G. Fantastic. Great. Okay, let us come back and uh, again, thank you for the questions. I will be dealing with all of the questions, but let's just look at uh, another sample of our videos. And these are, as our, these are our SIP videos, the Study, Investigation and Practice, where we're studying a particular topic, then investigating it further with some examples and then practicing it. Now, obviously, in this little demo, we can't cover the whole section of study, investigation and practice, but hopefully this will give you a feel for what the SIP videos entail. And they're all typically tend to be about grammar. So let's have a look at some SIP content. Let's take the verb mettersi, to put on or to wear in terms of clothes. So this is a verb of the second conjugation, ending in ere. We conjugate it in the same way, but we need to think carefully about the past participle here. Yes, you're right, it's an irregular one. So I put on myself. Mi sono messo, messa. Ti sei messo, messa. Si è messo, messa. Ci siamo messi, Messe. Vi siete messi, messe. Si sono messi, messe. Okay. And here we are going to start like looking at what is an adjective. So adjectives are words that describe nouns. And in Spanish, these uh, adjectives agree in gender and number with the noun or pronoun they describe. For example, el coche es pequeño. Y la casa es bonita. El coche y la casa son fantásticos. The adjectives here are pequeño, that describes how coche is, bonita, that describes how casa is, and then fantásticos, that describes how coche and casa are. And that's why they are agreeing with those nouns. First of all, let's talk about the future tense. You've probably used it lots of times by forming German sentences. You've heard of lots of times. It is formed by using the auxiliary verb werden plus uh, the second verb in the infinitive. And also that infinitive verb goes to the end of the sentence, the same as when you use any form of modal verbs. Okay. Maybe quickly go through the conjugation of werden just to remind everybody of like how it is formed. So we have ich werde, du wirst, er sie es wird, wir werden, ihr werdet, und sie werden. Okay, so we said werden as the auxiliary verb plus the infinitive. Now let's move on to our investigation section. 
let's have a look at some examples of these possessive adjectives in context. Our first example is Notre voiture est en panne. Our car has broken down. Here we have the feminine singular noun voiture, so we're going to use the singular possessive adjective notre for our. Notre voiture, our car. And we're also using the expression être en panne, which means to have broken down. Okay, so there you have some further examples of our SIP content. Again, it's, it's quite difficult to give a full uh, flavour of what a SIP video entails because there are very much three sections of that SIP video. The study section, where we're looking at a new concept, then investigating it in greater detail with some examples, and then practising it with the translations or the exercise um, that, that, that form that whole video. So hopefully you get a little flavour of it. It's not really the full, <laughs> the, the full idea. However, um, uh, I, I'm delighted to see that some of you have uh, been enjoying using the club um, since you um, since since you've you've been joining. Um, the I'm just going through these these comments. Um, uh, so Meron's saying, I didn't get the discount either, but the team told me it will be refunded tomorrow. So yes, so we, we will be refunding any uh, discounts that uh, if, if you weren't able to put in the code, um, and indeed we've already done so um, for a number of people. But I should remind you that, um, let me just check whether uh, we've got this here. Um, sorry, I need to make sure that this... Uh, is out here and this is there. All right, so hopefully this is going to work this time. Um, yeah, so just a reminder that the discount is ending in 40 minutes. So this is uh, your your chance to, to purchase the club uh, for a, a reduced rate and that the rates are there. So 19.99 per month, uh, 44.99 per quarter and 199.99 per year, but there's 30% off your first payment. Now, um, we've got another question from Christian here. Christian's asking, if I keep 44.99 uh, forever, will I be punished for my yearly subscription from the second year on? Um, 199 versus 179 for the second year of the quarterly subscription. Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean, Christian, but if you pay 44.99 today with 30% off, then you'll pay that followed by three payments of 44.99 for the remainder of the year. And then thereafter, you'll continue on that uh, particular um, price point. So you'll continue on 44.99 unless you decide to change to another subscription. You can cancel a subscription at any time. You can come back in um, at uh, if you choose to upgrade to a, a yearly subscription at some point. Um, you can definitely do that. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, let me see. Uh, Paul's asking, will lessons be marked as viewed after viewing so that I can see which ones I have done? Yes, uh, they'll be greyed out basically on the screen. So um, you you should be able to see as long as you're not get like you're, you're not using it in a private browser or anything like that. Um, you will be able to see that the, the lessons that you have done are, are greyed out. Um, Richard is asking, did you already, uh, oops, sorry, Richard, <laughs> you've gone off the screen. Did you already how, cover how does the new version of the club differ from the earlier version of the club we launched a couple of years ago? Yeah, so we did have a version of the club that we launched uh, back in 2021, I think, late in the year in 2021. And uh, that ran for a few months, but the, the, the vast majority of feedback that we got on that version of the club which included other activities as well as the videos, was that the videos were the most effective part of the club. However, at that stage, we were using the Coffee Bake Academy for the club and it didn't provide the kind of resources that we needed for an, a video library. So we went off, we built our video library, um, we built the app to accompany the video library um, and that's why we've launched this new video version of the club. So all of the videos from the old version of the club are in the, the new version of the club, but of course we've added many, many new videos to that and continuing to add them uh, all the time. So I uh, hope that answers your question. Caroline's saying, I'm so happy as I woke up yesterday berating, I woke up today berating my first self for forgetting to apply yesterday. 
Um, so yeah, there's still time. Um, thank you for well. I hope that this means you're you're going to join the club, um, and yeah, good to test two other languages too, because when you sign up for the club, you get access to all four languages: French, German, Spanish, and Italian club content. So if you're learning more than one language, then it's perfect for you. And Jack in the world is saying, I joined, studied the French series, so good. Looking forward to the content. Merci beaucoup, Jack. Um, let's see. Uh, after <laughs> Joyce is saying, after following your podcast in different languages, it's lovely to, lovely to see what everyone looks like because in the club you're obviously seeing our, our, our presenters uh, demonstrate the, the content that they are working on. Okay, let's see where we are supposed to be now because I've got a little timetable here and I'm trying to stick to it. Um, we've certainly done some Q&A already, but what I'm going to do is go to the questions that we got uh, via email. Um, over the past couple of days. So how many videos are there in the library? At the moment, there are over 500 videos in the library. And as I say, we're adding to this all the time. We'll continue to add to this in the weeks and months to come. Um, so that answers that question. Is the subscription for one language or multiple languages? So again, we've already talked about this. The subscription is for all of the club languages. So that's French, German, Spanish and Italian. It's one subscription. You get access to everything. Um, can I access Coffee Break Italian Season 1, for example, within my club subscription? No, you can't. So Coffee Break Italian Season 1, Coffee Break German Season 1, Coffee Break Portuguese Season 1, and um, Elvet and, and, and all the other content that we have, these are all courses on the Coffee Break Academy, and they'll remain to be courses on the Coffee Break Academy, but they're not part of the club. The club subscription gives you access to all of the individual videos that are part of the club, and we've seen some of these uh, videos already today today. Um, what's the difference between the Coffee Break Club and the Coffee Break Academy? Well, the Coffee Break Academy, as I said, is where we host these courses. There is, in, in the Coffee Break Academy, we can have uh, videos and PDFs and audio content and so on. Um, and there's interaction in the, in the sense of comments and things like that. Whereas in the, the Coffee Break Club, yes, you can post comments and the tutors will get back to you and so on. But the focus here is on the videos. It's video lessons that we are working through in the Coffee Break Club. Now, one thing to mention is, uh, <laughs> linked to this next question, is the club different from Coffee Break TV? So Coffee Break TV is our platform. In fact, I'll bring this on the screen here just now because I can do that, I think. Yeah. Um, so this is a Coffee Break TV platform and uh, Coffee Break TV therefore is a website, it's also the app and you can see here we can access all of the club content in the, uh, in the Coffee Break TV platform. However, we also have an area here for Coffee Break Academy courses. Now, the Coffee Break Academy courses are separate from the club. So if you, are, uh, if you have already bought, for example, Coffee Break Italian Season 1 in uh, the Academy, then you'll be able to access this on here. If not, then you could purchase it on Coffee Break TV or on the Academy. Either way, you'll still be able to access it. But it's not part of the club. So Coffee Break TV is our platform, the same way as, let's say, Amazon Prime is a platform. And within Amazon Prime, you get access to individual videos, you get access to series, but you also get access to certain videos that require you to rent them or you require you to purchase them because it's the platform that is Amazon Prime and then, uh, or Amazon Video, and then Prime is one element of that. So Coffee Break TV is our platform and the Coffee Break Club is one element within that platform. I know it's a little bit complicated and there's a lot of coffee break stuff, but um, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, what level are the videos in the club? We've already spoken about this quite significantly. So the level is uh, A2, B1 into B2, depending on the type of video. Now, we have been talking to lots of our club members and here are some comments. The club makes learning fun. I feel like I'm learning with friends and I feel part of a community. And I know that one of our, our viewers mentioned that, that they, they feel that they're part of a community here joining, learning together. Um, and that's definitely our aim. Um, another comment, I love the fact that I can go to the platform and easily find and pick content that's right for my level of energy and curiosity on a given day. There's no excuse not to practice consistently when the options are so flexible and the content is so engaging and the presenters are also delightful. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we're, we're, we're all delighted to, to read this kind of comment, so thank you for that. 
Now, as I said, we've got this special offer on at the moment. Our normal prices of $19.99, have 30% off their the first payment. And that means that you can save uh, about $6 on a monthly payment for the first month uh, or about $12 thereabouts on your quarterly payment or $60 on uh, your uh, annual payment. So uh, the needless to say, the best value is, is where you would be paying $140 for your first year's access uh, there. So... Um, let me see what's next. I think we've got more questions here, but I've also got some live questions. So I'm going to come out and do some live questions. Um, Nancy is saying, where is the code and how do I add it? So the code is, um, where do I put this? I think I can put that up here. The code is spring30 at coffeebreaktv.com. So you go to coffeebreaktv.com and you add uh, the code there. In fact, I think, if you give me one second, I think I can, I can actually do this. Um, new private window, coffeebreaktv.com. Let me see if we do this. So here we have uh, the Coffee Break TV website. So you go to join now and you choose which plan you want. Let's say you want the yearly plan. So choose plan and then you will be asked to add your email address and so on there and a password and then when you click on continue at the next stage that's where you would enter the coupon code um, there is a part there so if I just do let's do demo at coffeebreaklanguages.com I can't spell um, I'll just put demo in here and I'll just make up a password and click here to agree to the terms and conditions. If you want to receive the, the updates about what's going on in the club, then you can tick that box. And if I click on continue here, <laughs> I'll do demo 22, there we go, continue. So you can see here, there's an opportunity to put coupon or gift card. So if I type in spring 30 and apply, then you can see it's taken $60 off and I can put in my details uh, and complete that purchase there. So I hope that answers your question, Nancy. Um, let's see, Suzanne saying, if the video is greyed out, can I reaccess it? Of course, yeah, just click on it again and you'll be able to uh, watch the video again. And we would encourage you to watch videos over and over again because again, it's like fitness where you can come back and keep doing it, uh, returning to it, uh, then it makes uh, it makes more sense because you're uh, re-accessing it, redeveloping uh, your your fitness. Um, okay, let me check where we're supposed to be. We're still doing the questions and answers. Again, if you've got more questions, just let me know. Let's see if we've got any new subscribers to the club uh, since our last uh, our last visit here. So I think we finished with Barry G. So we've got Rachel S. Rachel, you're very welcome. Thank you for joining the club. Um, it's great to have new members on our club. We've got Laurie. Laurie, you're very welcome. Um, the, we've also got James C. Thank you very much, James. Merci beaucoup. Vielen Dank. Grazie molte. Uh, muchas gracias. And we've got Stephen H. also joining us in the club. Now, the discount ends in 28 minutes, as you can see on the screen. Uh, so do make sure that you do sign up before then if you're interested in taking 30% off your first payment. Ruth W., thank you very much indeed for joining us. Kate F., thank you again uh, for joining us. Uh, and we hope that you all enjoy the content uh, that is offered within the club. We've also got Jerry M joining us on the club and Anne-Marie B. Fantastic. Thank you so much to you all for joining us. Now, um, I have a few more questions to work through because, again, we had some questions through by email uh, and uh, in the help desk before we went live uh, with today's live broadcast. Um, are there lesson notes or audio materials? So for the club videos, no, there aren't. 
This is not something that we are providing in the club, again because of the video experience. Um, we want to be able to, uh, you, you, for example, to be, you, you to be sitting on a bus or to be sitting in your sofa at home and you can access the video content on your Apple TV or your Roku device or you can airplay from a, a laptop or a, a uh, well, you can air airplay from an Apple-based device, you can Chromecast from other devices uh, to your TV, so you're able to watch this content on your TV. So we've not focused on producing lesson notes or audio materials. That tends to be where w we would be providing that kind of content in our main academy courses. Uh, but on the club, uh, there are not uh, lesson notes or audio materials. Of course, I should also mention that, as we've talked about earlier, Lots of the videos are very much focused on the audio in the sense that what you're learning, yes, if you can use the, the if you can see the content on the screen, then that will help you to to re, to consolidate what you're learning. You'll be able to uh, see the words and phrases on the screen, but you don't need to. You can listen to it as an audio piece of audio content. And from that point of view, the Coffee Break TV app will allow you to continue playing with a locked screen. So if you're listening on your phone, you can. Uh, create a playlist uh, of different videos that you want to work through while you're out on a run. You simply start the playlist, lock your phone, and the audio will continue to play, and you'll be able to learn as you're out on a run or out for a walk um, while you're listening to the content. Okay, next question. For how long do I have access to the materials? So you have access to your to the materials for the duration of your membership. So that means you're able to access everything in the, the Coffee Break Club in the French, German, Spanish and Italian content during your membership. You can download the materials to your device, so you're able to download them within the app then you can access them offline or if you've not got uh, internet access while you're on a flight or something like that. So you can access them on your device having downloaded them. However, at the end of your subscription, if you cancel your subscription, then when your subscription comes to an end, you will no longer be able to access any of the content. It is like a Netflix subscription. You can't go in and watch another series after your Netflix subscription has uh, timed out or has been cancelled. So you can access the content while you have an active subscription, but thereafter you can no longer access any of the Coffee Break Club content. I hope that makes sense. Um, I was going to say something else there about um, downloading to your device. Um, no, it slipped my mind. It may come back as we come through um, these other questions. Uh, okay, so next question. Can I download the videos to my device? Yes, you can indeed. I've just explained that. Um, why is four times quarterly payments cheaper than one times yearly? So we've talked a little about that. The quarterly payments were set at forty four ninety nine This week, well, last week, we actually introduced the annual membership. We weren't planning to do that, but we got lots of requests to do that. So in order for the annual membership to, to work correctly um, in terms of pricing, we need to increase the quarterly payments and that will happen tomorrow. But if you buy with a quarterly payment, then you're locked in at that price uh, just now. So it's 44.99 uh, today. As of tomorrow, it will go up to 54.99 uh, for quarterly payments. Um, can I sign up using any currency? Yes, we sell the club in dollars, in US dollars, because we use a, a US-based platform to uh, run the club. Um, but you can sign up using any currency from anywhere in the world. Um, excuse me, sorry, I'm talking for... Uh, I'm very sorry about that. Um, you can sign up from anywhere in the world using any, any currency. Um, and uh, just double check that your card is not going to, that, that you're not going to have additional uh, fees to pay because you're buying a, a product in a currency that's not the currency of the card. Most banks uh, will now allow you to uh, purchase something in US dollars uh, without additional fees. Um, Okay, Anne is asking here, I already belong to Coffee Break TV paying quarterly. Is the new discount rate the same? So, uh, if you're already paying quarterly, then you can't change to, you, you basically can't get 30% off your next payment, if that makes sense, unless you decide to upgrade to the annual payment. 
in that case, you could apply the 30% coupon. So if you're currently paying quarterly, then you would definitely save by upgrading to annual um, and applying that coupon. You'd save yourself $60 over the course of the year. And if you're only a few days into uh, your your next quarterly payment, then you will the, the website will work out how long you've got left. It will take that off the new rate, but then still give you the discount. So it's maybe worth double checking if you uh, can uh, in, change your, your current uh, subscription. And I can just show you how to do that. Um, oh, let me just check one thing here. Yeah. So um, if we come over here, so this is my uh, demo account here. If I go to dashboard and purchases, then you can see here, I am currently on a quarterly subscription. If I change that subscription, I can choose a yearly subscription. If I do subscribe now, I'll get the opportunity to put in um, the spring 30 for the 30% discount there. Um, so hopefully that helps you, Anne. Um, Moira is saying, I've purchased a gift card but wasn't given the option to apply the discount. Please can you remind me the, of the email address used to reclaim the discount? So, Moira, unfortunately, if you've purchased a gift card, you, you there's no discount available because the discount is available on the subscription. So, um, if you were planning to give, a disc, give the gift card to someone else, um, who would then need to use the subscription uh, with a discount on it, um, they would have to do so very soon. Um, so perhaps um, if you get in touch with us um, at team at coffeebreaklanguages.com, we can refund your gift card purchase and we can maybe do this another way. Um, but the gift cards are not linked to basically the... the the coupon code only works for a particular subscription, not the gift card. Um, we we typically don't uh, promote the gift cards other than at uh, holiday times, so that uh, is the kind of thing that maybe uh, you might want to gift a subscription. Um, and uh, at the moment, the, the discount is not linked to those gift cards. But get in touch with us at team at coffeebreaklanguages.com and we'll help you out with that. Okay, coming back to my questions here. Um, I'm losing my voice here. Can I upgrade an existing monthly or quarterly membership to a yearly membership? Yes, uh, we've already discussed that. Um, can I cancel at any time? Absolutely. If you cancel tomorrow, then you'll still have the rest of your month or quarter or year um, to uh, work through all of the content uh, with us. Um, and just a few more comments here. So the coffee break method of dedicating just a few minutes a day to language instead of big blocks of time has been life changing and it's so accessible to me. The Coffee Break TV app helps me get in more learning than I otherwise would. And that, I think, is one of the most important things there, having that app on your phone when you can take a lesson with an, a, an experienced expert tutor um, there, wherever you are, wherever you're, whatever you're doing. My goal is to use it daily so I can get a good balance between grammar, vocabulary and other fun videos. Thank you very much. Another comment from our survey here. The club helps me to motivate, helps to motivate me. I, if I don't feel up to doing a full lesson in the academy but still want to keep up with my language practice, a five or ten minute lesson in the club is perfect. And I often go on to do another one or two videos afterwards. It's also great to see the teachers face to face as it more, feels more immersive and interactive. Brilliant. Thank you very much. And one final one, the club allows me to stay consistent if short on time and gives me some quick exercises to get me processing the language faster. Great, thank you for these comments. These are comments coming from our existing club members in the survey that we've recently conducted. Um, okay, so let me check what the situation is here, what we've got. Um, we've got some, yeah, just a couple more things to do. Um, what I'm going to do just now is share with you our latest update on the club. Um, this is actually just uh, going live on the club uh, shortly after this finishes, so you're getting a, a sneak preview. And this is um, basically this week on Coffee Break uh, on, the, on the Coffee Break Club. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello, bonjour, buenos dias, et buongiorno. Let's check out some of the latest additions to the Coffee Break Club together. Starting with German, this week Oliveira is back with our reading text. Leon, Nora, Dario und Ben sind über das Wochenende zusammen nach Berlin gereist. So, Leon, Nora, Dario und Ben travels to Berlin over the weekend. So here we have sind gereist, which is a verb of motion, reisen, to travel. And in the perfect tense, we use the auxiliary verb sein because it's a verb of motion. So sind gereist. And you'll also be trying to guess the mystery location with Thomas in Wo bin ich heute, episode 11. Let's have a look at the individual sentences and then I'm sure you will also find out where Oliveira is spending her day. Also, ich besuche gerade eine Schulfreundin in Süddeutschland und gestern haben wir die Top-Sehenswürdigkeiten hier besucht. In French, some of our latest highlights include our reading text with Pierre Noir about his holidays in France. L'été, comme j'y vais pour plus longtemps, je descends en voiture et je prends le ferry de nuit pour traverser la Manche. Il faut compter deux jours de voyage en tout. And Max joins us for a SIP video. That's where we study a language point, investigate it further with examples, and practice the point in more detail with some challenges. This week we're looking at comparing things, more than, less than, and so on. So to compare adjectives or adverbs, you can say more than, or er at the end of the word, than, by using the structure plus, then the adjective or the adverb, and the word que for than. To say less than, the structure is similar. Instead of plus, we have moins. Moins, adjective or adverb, then que, less than. In Italian, we are discovering the world with Maurizio, and this week we are in l'Isola di Pasqua, Easter Island. Le teste dell'Isola di Pasqua sono famose in tutto il mondo. Queste statue iconiche, chiamate Moai, sono immediatamente riconoscibili. Tuttavia, la popolazione che le ha realizzate, i Rapa Nui, non hanno scolpito solo teste. I Moai hanno infatti corpi interi, ma la maggior parte di questi è stata sepolta nel corso del tempo. And Francesca has been looking at reflexive verbs in the present and in the passato prossimo. Ok, allora, I have enjoyed myself or I enjoyed myself. Mi sono divertito, divertita. Ti sei divertito, divertita. Si è divertito, divertita. Ci siamo divertiti, divertite. Vi siete divertiti, divertite. Si sono divertiti, divertite. Benissimo. Finally, in Spanish, Concha is investigating a fascinating phenomenon about birthdays. La posibilidad de que dos personas compartan cumpleaños en una habitación con solo 23 personas supera el 50%. Y en una habitación de 75 personas, la probabilidad es tan alta como 99,7%. Casi seguro. And Annabelle is back with another postcard. I wonder if you'll be able to work out the mystery destination. The postcard starts with... Comenzamos haciendo algunas compras en el zoco. Traté de regatear, pero soy muy mala. Comenzamos, we started. This comenzamos can also be in the present tense, no? We start. However, we find another preterite, like at the end of the sentence, so that's why we know that is the past tense. So, comenzamos, we started. Haciendo algunas compras, doing some shopping, en el zoco, at the bazaar. Of course, these are just the tip of the iceberg. You can enjoy hundreds of mini language lessons in the Coffee Break Club. I hope you've enjoyed this quick review of some of our latest content. I'll be back again soon, but in the meantime, happy coffee breaking. 
So that is the latest <laughs> information that we have on the club. And what I love about the club videos is in every single video I watch, I learn something new. I would say I'm probably fairly confident with my Spanish and my French and my Italian, but they are even in that word. I don't think I've ever come, come across el zoco, the souk, the bazaar. Um, but I don't want to give away too much about the postcards because you need to watch the whole thing to identify where the mystery location is. But yeah, it's always great to learn a little more, a little more each day. So a couple of further questions that we've got. Um, uh, Caroline is saying, uh, apologies if this was covered earlier, have just joined. Thank you very much, Caroline. Um, will I receive an email or is there a how to use the Coffee Break Club? Well, what there is, and this is something we recommend everyone does. Let me see if I can get this over here. So on the club, um, if you scroll right to the bottom of the club, we have a whole range of videos on using the Coffee Break Club, how to get the most out of it. Some of these are greyed out for me because I've already watched them, but you've got introducing the club, how to access it on a phone, on a tablet, how to search and filter, uh, both in the app and in the platform, how to reset your language settings, how to download videos and so on. So all of these help videos. And this is again, something that we're adding to as uh, more uh, videos, uh, as, as more questions come in on how to use the club. But that's the about Coffee Break TV section, which will be at the bottom of uh, the all videos uh, section there on the, the club. And just a point on that, if you're studying a particular language, then you can just select that language from the library menu up here. So let's say you're studying Italian. This is a quick way to get access to all of the Italian videos. And you can also filter here. So let's say you wanted to filter uh, on perhaps the lower intermediate level. So click this and it will filter out all the more demanding videos. Um, and uh, you will be able to access these ones which are kind of deemed A to B1 videos. Um, let's just come back out to all there. If we want to filter the length, um, we can see that we want to see all the five to 10 minute videos because I've only got five minutes today. So we can do that and it will show you all the five to 10 minute, 10 minute videos. And likewise, we can filter by type. So if we wanted to look at all the postcards, the Italian postcard videos, there's all the CDs there with all of the episodes and you can work out the location for all of these. Um, you can try translation challenges here. So lots of different translation challenges there uh, that you can work through. Um, or perhaps the discovery videos, um, finding something out about the world uh, in each case there. But equally, if we come back to all videos here, um, and then if we go back to our filters, we could, for example, see all the, uh, from the type here, if we go to all of the SIP videos, let's see, um, oops, if I click on grammar, um, then you see all of the SIP videos across all of the languages there. Um, and uh, all of these uh, are, are shown because we've, uh, we've not selected a particular language. Um, but that's how you uh, filter. We can also search. So let's say we were looking for, um, uh, if actually if we go into, um, let me just refresh this. And if we go into the Coffee Break French Club, and then if we search here for, um, I don't know, uh, imperfect tense, let's see if anything is coming up for the imperfect tense. So um, if the imperfect tense is mentioned in, in one of these particular videos, then it will show um, lots of videos referring to the imperfect tense there. So you can use uh, the search function too to identify a particular video that you're, you're looking for. We're into our final 10 minutes, our final 10 minutes of our special event. Um, and of course, let me just bring this slide back on the screen. A reminder that this discount ends in less than 10 minutes now, where you can save 30% off your first month or your first quarter or your first year on the Coffee Break Club. And this is exactly what we've been looking at today. We've been uh, finding out all of the the uh, the, the, the the, the positive things that the club provides um, and giving you the chance to practice your language skills uh, in, in a, a, an ongoing and fun way. Jackie has just upgraded to yearly. I love what you all do. Thank you for making my learning experience such a good one. Thank you very much indeed. Um, Jackie is saying, I love Coffee Break Spanish, but my English isn't good enough to understand it all. I need this perfect club in German. Uh, okay, so... Um, 
we do also have Coffee Break English materials. Um, Jackie, you may want to use them to improve your English. Um, Judy saying, I love the Spanish podcast. I'm only on Series 1. Is the club too advanced for beginners? Well, we aim it at Season... Uh, sorry, yeah. We, we roughly aim the club around Season 2, Season 3 level. So an A2, uh, B1 level. So perhaps hang off, Judy, um, and uh, we'll see... You, you can join the club at a later date. There are samples um, on the uh, the Coffee Break Club if you want to have a, a further idea of what's involved. Obviously, we've been sharing lots of samples today, um, but there are some free samples here. So if you just scroll down, you've got free samples from the Coffee Break Club and you can see some different samples of the different types of videos uh, and a couple from each language there. Uh, Mags is saying, ciao Mark, just joined the club, grazie, grazie a te, grazie mille. Um, in fact, let's see also if we've got any new members of our club. Uh, hopefully we do have. The discount does end in seven minutes. I feel like I'm on QVC here, <laughs> selling some random thing. Um, but yeah, we're really delighted to welcome James C and Stephen H. I think we've mentioned James C and Stephen H before. Um, let's see who else we've got. Um, we have Kate F joining us. Um, we're delighted to welcome all our new club members. Um, we've got Jerry M. Uh, who else do we have? Uh, we've got Anne R. Lots of new members of the club today. It's fantastic to have you all. Um, and do check out the uh, About Coffee Break TV section. James C, muchas gracias, merci beaucoup, thank you very much. Um, Stephen H, you're very welcome. Um, and uh, just delighted to, to see so many of you signing up. Uh, James C, uh, again, are we just going round again here? I'm not sure, I think we are. So um, I'll take that off just now. Um, if you do have any further questions, uh, let me know. Um, uh, Jackie's saying, I want to learn Spanish, but I don't understand all your explanations in English. Okay, so you would be looking for a German version of that. That's not something that we have at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, but I hope that you uh, continue to enjoy our, our podcasts um, and the other content that we have. Um, let me just... Oh, there's Sean saying, upgraded to yearly too. Thank you very much, Sean. Fantastic news. Um, I'm going to do one thing here. Just going to play a little... Um, summary of, of the club uh, and then we'll come back together for the, the last few minutes um, but if you have any questions please do let me know Hola a todos Hali, hello. Hello, tout le monde. Ciao Moi, c'est Max Soy Annabelle I'm Francesca My name is Olivera and today we'll be doing some translations together I'm Mark and today we're doing some reading with Francesca Today we have another video de vocabulario And today we have another postcard to read together. Today's topic is how to say my, your, his and her in French. In this video, I have a grammar point for you and it's the near future. Our text today is about a cartoffel quarantine, so a potato quarantine. The Coffee Break Club is based around three simple questions. What do you want to learn today? Perhaps you want to review your French grammar or learn about German culture. Then, which kind of activity would you like? A reading text? some listening practice or a factual video? And the final question is, how long is your coffee break? Whether you want a quick five minute cultural text or a longer review of grammar, there's something for you in our library of learning content on the Coffee Break Club. And we are adding new videos all the time. Join the Coffee Break Club on Coffee Break TV. Visit coffeebreaktv.com today. So thank you so much to all of you for sticking around. I know that some of you are still watching live. Um, this has been uh, quite a long session. Um, I do hope that you have found it useful, found it interesting, getting a little taste of what the club involves. As I said, we've got um, uh, hundreds of videos, hundreds of language learning videos, um, which will help you improve your language skills uh, just a little bit every day, taking one coffee break at a time with you. Um, and with our expert teachers on the, the, the Coffee Break Club, you can improve your language skills with our content. There is 
a, a discount if you've just joined us and you didn't know there is a discount at the moment uh, which is ending in just three minutes time um, where you can uh, save 30 percent on your first payment um, and that would be a payment a monthly payment of uh, 30 oh, sorry of 1999 um, you can save uh, 30 percent on your quarterly payment of 44.99 the quarterly payments actually going, going up tomorrow to 54.99 um, but if you get in now then you'll be uh, you'll, you'll, you'll remain at that particular level and the annual payment is 199.99 um, again there's 30 percent off that first year um, what uh, one thing I am noticing is that we're, we're getting um, quite a lot of well not quite a lot but a few angry faces um, in the the comments and if, if you're not enjoying this then you, you please feel free to go elsewhere and, and watch something else um, this is a, a promo that we've been running for the past week as a, a company uh, producing language learning content uh, we have to do promos we uh, do promos that are that, that help language learners uh, take the, the next step with their learning um, if you're not enjoying it then then you, you don't need to watch it um, but if you are watching and you are enjoying this then as I say we've got just two minutes to go in our uh, in our coffee break club promo over the past week we have been sharing lots of content we've been uh, sharing lots of free language learning materials um, to allow you to to try some of the content in the club. We've gone through our uh, postcard videos where you're identifying a mystery location. Um, we've gone through our discovery videos where you're discovering something about the world um, in the language that you're learning, of course, using that as the, the context. We have done some grammar work uh, in our SIP videos, our study, investigation and practice videos. And we have also been trying out our five minute learning videos. So five minute French, German, Spanish and Italian in which we are uh, offering the idea of of doing a little bit of translation practice or perhaps some reading or perhaps some vocabulary work. And all of these are part of our Coffee Break Club, which is uh, available to purchase. And uh, as, I, as I've said, we are running a special promo, pro, promo on it at the moment. Um, but the club is available. Uh, you can try it out with our free samples um, at coffeebreaktv.com. But you can also access the club on our app, the Coffee Break TV app, which is available for uh, both Android and uh, iOS. And it's also available for Apple TV and uh, for... Um, for Roku devices. So if you've got a Roku device or an Apple TV set-top box, then you can use uh, the Coffee Break Club on there. You simply download the app and it's just like sitting watching Netflix or Amazon Prime or something like that. You can access all of the content there. Um, it only remains for me to thank uh, all of the team who put a lot of effort into creating uh, these videos for you. We have got a fantastic team of teachers and producers who uh, all work together to, to make this club content. And it's really exciting being able to share that with so many learners. And thank you to you all for joining us today, uh, both for this live and indeed to those of you who have joined us on the club. Um, that's it. <laughs> our discount is over. Our sale is over. Um, thank you once again for joining us. And we really hope that you enjoy using the club. Um, and we'll see you on the inside. For now, merci beaucoup. Vielen Dank. Grazie molte. Muchas gracias. And as ever, happy coffee breaking. <laughs>